This is Paul. The terms and conditions yeah. of the actual account. Yes. If Chase wanted to. Mm -hmm. Well, use an attorney. Yeah. Their attorney and the cost. Yes. Of the mm -hmm, use of the Chase attorney. Yeah. To file a district court order for me to have to pay the charged off amount. Yeah. And then at the time of the court order. Yes. Receive 12% annually. Yeah. That's what that says. Yes. yes, yes. Mm -hmm. So you get attorney fees and costs. Yes. Until um, there's an actual court order. Oh, now for me, mm -hmm. I would have wanted to know exactly how much um, they were paying their attorneys. Yeah. They probably have to describe it when motioning a district court, the amount of the attorney fees. Yeah. And then the additional costs, the filing fees or mm -hmm, some sort of court fees. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't get the 12% until you have the attorney fees and costs. Yes, because of the mm, need to get the court order. Yeah, to be able to get the 12%. Yeah, on the amount of the court order mm, that includes attorney fees and costs. Right, right, right. You you get it. Yeah, mm -hmm, that's how it works. Yes, mm -hmm. yeah, you, you, you get to It's charge off mm -hmm, default. Yeah. Attorney fees and costs. Yes. Due process to the defendant. Yeah. You get the attorney fees and costs at the time of getting the default judgment from the district court. Yeah. And then from the day of the court order. Yeah. You get the 12%. You get the 